video we are going to talk about some very important reactions of methyl benzene methyl benzene is basically a derivative of benzene that contains a methyl group as a substituent this derivative of benzene is a very important derivative it's uh, known as methyl benzene or it's also called toluene this is a very important uh, compound and it has been tested there have been frequent questions on this compound in the past papers especially the reactions that we are going to do right now okay so the first reaction of this compound methyl benzene is basically an electrophilic substitution reaction with chlorine so the um, catalyst that is used in electrophilic substitution is alcl3 uh, lewis acid or we may also use FeCl3, both are acceptable, or we may also use BCl3. These are the three possible catalysts that are used in this reaction and the product that we get. We basically get two products. Uh, one is 2-chloromethylbenzene, basically the, chloro, the chlorine atom is on the second carbon atom. So is attached to the second carbon. So two chloromethylbenzene plus we also get a second compound four chloromethylbenzene. Okay, guys. So these are the two compounds that we get as the products, and these both of them are the major products. Fifty percent of the total compound is. 2-chloromethylbenzene and the remaining 50% is 4-chloromethylbenzene. So basically, they are in a 1 to 1 ratio. Why do we get 2-chloro and why do we get 4-chloro? Why don't we get 3-chloro? That's because the methyl group over here is a 2-4-6 director. It is an activating group. It is an orthopara director. So basically, 2-4-6 directing groups. So it directs one of the, basically 50% of the, chlorine positive electrophiles to the second carbon and 50% of the chlorine positive electrophiles at the fourth carbon atom. So this is basically an important reaction. Learn the products. And basically there is nothing to learn in it. It's common sense since the methyl group or any alkyl group is 246 directing. So when they are reacted with chlorine and the catalyst, learn these catalysts. Uh, they are important and they are frequently asked in the past papers. So when they are reacted with chlorine in presence of any of these catalysts so we get two products one is two chloro and the other is fourth chloro okay now let's move on to the second reaction okay now the second reaction is basically nitration the first reaction was halogenation right uh, the second reaction is nitration the reagents used is basically concentrated nitric acid uh, this is our methyl benzene we reacted with concentrated nitric acid in presence of concentrated H2SO4 as a catalyst, temperature being less than 55 degrees Celsius or approximately equal to 55 degrees Celsius is also okay. The Again, we get two products and the two of them this time are nitrated products because this is nitration reaction. They, both the products will have the nitro group attached to it. Okay, again in the second carbon atom and on the fourth carbon atom because the alkyl groups are 2, 4, 6 directing. So in the second carbon atom, uh, a nitro group will get attached because of the nitrating agent concentrated nitric acid. And on the fourth carbon atom, a, nitric, a nitro group will get attached. So the name becomes 2-nitro-methylbenzene and 4-nitro-methylbenzene. And again, the two compounds are in a one-to-one -one ratio. Basically, they are equal. Okay. Now, the, in this reaction, if the condition is changed, if instead of using temperature less than 55 degrees Celsius, instead of this, if we heat the reaction under reflux, under reflux, then something very interesting happens. The remaining uh, reagents are the same, concentrated nitric acid, concentrated sulfuric acid. But what if we heat it under reflux? Basically, the conditions have become stronger. 
basically they become a bit stronger due to the heating under reflux action what happens is that all the three carbon atoms the second position the fourth position and the sixth carbon uh, position they get nitrated and the product that we get is very interesting try naming it nitro group on the second carbon nitro group on the fourth carbon and nitro group on the sixth carbon atom okay these uh, this product that we have over here it's 2 comma 4 comma 6 dash to separate the alphabets try nitro toluene toluene or basically tri nitro methyl benzene if we look at the name carefully the t the n and the t and combine the three alphabets it becomes t and t yes guys this is the same explosive the same explosive that is used uh, tnt is an explosive uh, tnt is used as an explosive so 246 trinitrotoluene it's basically this compound of benzene that is used as an explosive okay guys so this is what tnt really is isn't this interesting well i found it interesting for the first time though okay guys now let's get uh, going let's get moving to the next reaction of methyl benzene okay we have this methyl benzene over here now the next reaction is a very interesting reaction it's basically not uh, not a halogenation reaction it's basically a reaction of chlorine in presence of uv light basically if we recall as these were the conditions for free radical substitution so basically a free radical substitution occurs in the side chain of benzene and one of the hydrogen atoms get replaced get substituted with the chlorine atom so it becomes ch2cl plus hcl as the byproduct okay guys so this is the compound that we get chloromethylbenzene or one chloromethylbenzene both the names are correct okay guys so now let's talk about a very common exam question uh, basically they give uh, questions in diagrammatic form methyl benzene is formed and they draw out two arrows and this is a very common exam question and they give two different conditions on one of the two arrows it's written chlorine in presence of uv light the reaction that we just did up there or up there yeah and the second arrow has this condition cl2 in presence of alcl3 catalyst so in both the and they are uh, they give you two boxes and ask you the product so this is let's say this is box a and this is your box b and they ask you the products so pause this video for a while and try making the products yourselves and uh, then uh, replay it again and then see what the products are i'm drawing out the products uh, in this case free radical substitution will occur and the chlorine will substitute a hydrogen atom from the carbon chain the methyl group and then in this case electrophilic substitution occurs and uh, basically any of the two uh, products are acceptable you may draw two force uh, two chloromethane or you may draw uh, not two chloromethane basically two chloro methyl benzene or you may also draw four chloromethyl benzene both are equally acceptable in this case okay guys so these were some very important questions of methyl benzene in the next video we are going to talk about chlorobenzene in a bit more detail the similar reactions which come in the exam so in the past papers basically okay guys so thank you so much